Hi there, this is Anu from Team Mummy Boys, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the SMTP configuration that you can use to keep your branding intact when you are sending email release updates to your stakeholders. So, first of all, let us talk about the configuration part. So, as Jira admin, navigate to Apps menu and then automated release notes configuration SMTP tab so on this tab you would notice there are multiple service providers uh, you can also create a request on our support desk for additional providers apart from the existing ones and for this particular video I am going to create a connection with Office 365 so you would notice that uh, for Office 365, we have basic authentication and OAuth authentication both. So if you are configuring your email for the first time or the connection for, for the first time, uh, you would see this field blank. But since I already have the one connect, uh, have the connection created, I'm simply going to click on update your email address option. The process is going to be same whether you are updating an existing connection or you are creating a new connection. I will have to go through an OAuth process here. As you can see, I just have to simply authenticate this. So it will just take a couple of seconds to complete the authentication. Once this is done, you would notice I click on yes and the connection is successfully created. So we have got the success message here and now the connection is successfully set here. Now once done with this SMTP connection, we will see how we can utilize this connection. So I'm navigating back to one of the Jira projects and automated release notes, rules tab. So first of all, let us talk about the email action. So as uh, as you might know uh, that Appraise has email template where you can create your release note update to be sent via email. And with this email action in the rule, you can trigger that release notes via email. So in such a case, when you click on this email action, you would notice the send via email field is here. So in this video, I'm going to stick with only send via email uh, option. In other videos, we have detailed out how you can configure uh, these different actions. So if you notice in this field, if you do not have the SMTP connection, you will always see this default email. If you have SMTP connection, you can choose one of them. So of course, uh, when you want to send emails via your company email address, you, you are going to select SMTP option here. And then you click on the save and then this action is ready to be triggered now. So whenever this action is triggered, relevant email update with release notes will be sent to your stakeholders. Now, let us move on to the other option where SMTP connection can be utilized. So before we talk about the setting, I will just quickly uh, show you the release page here. So if you haven't used release page yet, so you can see this is one of our production release page for automated release notes app. And here we keep posting our release notes as and when there are new releases for the app. So when any new release notes are published for the new release, our subscribers receive an email notification about that update and that email can be sent via SMTP or the default ARN address. So I'm going back to app in release pages and widget tabs. I'm going to open one of the release pages here and you would notice the send update subscriber so currently it's turned on already so when this toggle is turned on you will see the send via email field where you can again select either the default email address or the smtp connection to send release updates 
or release notes update to your stakeholders. So this way, utilizing the SMTP setup or SMTP connection, you can keep your branding intact and send these release email updates via your own company email address. Uh, this SMTP feature is available only for cloud AR and app. Currently, we do not have it available for the data center AR and app. So in that case, for DC, these emails are sent from the G Jira email addresses. We are soon going to work on SMTP feature for DC as well, and then you will be able to configure your SMTP connection even in the DC app.